Dealing with image files can sometimes be a pain, especially on a low level. But here I have a simple C program that is only 25 lines long. And this is only 25 lines long. And the only include I have is the standard input output library. And yet I'm going to compile this. And after it's compiled, I'm just going to double click it. And it's going to create an image file. It's a box.png. And I'm going to open up this file. I'm going to zoom in on it. Zoom in on it to see what it looks like. And it's just a simple 2x2 two two image. So it's only 4 pixels. It gets red, cyan, blue, magenta. Pretty simple. So how did I make such simple code create a PNG file? Well, what I actually did was I created a file called box.ppm. This is a, P the, a um, portable pix pixmap file. So it's a very, and it's actually a very simple image format. And then I used Image Magic, which you can install on pretty much any machine, Windows, Linux, Mac. And I converted that to a PNG file. And then I deleted box.ppm. So actually what I did is I created a PPM file, not a PNG, but then I converted it and deleted the PPM. And it, it, that's pretty much what it is. Now, the reason I did PPM, because PPM files are incredibly simple to understand. So let me show you. This this is all it was was to def this is all the data that went into that box.ppm file. And that's pretty much all it is. And so if we if we look at this, this is something I wrote up really quick. This right here is the the format for a ppm image file. And right here is the actual data I put into it. And so right here, if I remove, if I delete this line that deletes box.ppm, and now I compile this again and run my program, I get this file right here. This is our portable PixMap file, and I can open this with Image Magic, and I can just zoom up into it. And as you can see, it's the same file. So this is the PPM file. It's pretty simple. Pretty simple file format. This whole th buffer right here defines all the data. And so basically that's what we're going to be looking at. So here we have the PPM file. First you have the header. And I put the header in green. So the header is first you got your... The header is actually written as ASCII. And as you can see, if I right click box and click edit with notepad++, you can actually see my header right here. And so the header is with ASCII, it's not in binary, so you can actually see it if you just open it with a text editor. And so first, the header, you have, first you have on the first line, magic number. And that can be P6 or P3. But you want to do P6, because the P3 files are slightly different. And so as you can see here, first I define P6 and I have a new line. And then the next thing, you have the width height. But as you notice, I don't have width height next. I actually have a pound sign, then it says by Karoski, because you can actually insert your own comments into PPM files by putting a pound sign and then the, the rest, the, your comment after it. So basically, this line right here is as if it wasn't there. So if I delete that line, it's not going to change the image at all. Putting a pound sign allows you to write your own comments into PPM files. So, so we can delete the we can delete that comment line because it actually doesn't do anything. But you can put comments in if you want. So the 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 actual data here, what we're looking at is this part. This is the header right here. P six two 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 five five. So the next part is you, you need to specify a width and a height. So my image is two by two. So again, this is ASCI. So I just put the character two, a space, and a two. And so that's how you do that. Then you have the max RGB values. You, you put a new line and then the max RGB value. And as you can see in my code, I put a new line and I put the characters because again, it's ASCI. Not, this is not a binary value, so that's why I'm putting them in quotes. 
255. 255 is the max, although it goes all the way up to, it has to be less than 2 to the 16, but 255 is typically what I go with as the max RGB value. And then, and then you put the image data. This part's in binary. However, if you change the magic number from P6 to P3, this part won't be in binary. It'll expect it to be ASCII. But having your entire image data specified in ASCII would make your image file pretty massive. And so you want your magic number to be P6 because put, making it in binary makes it much smaller. And so then I specify my um, the values for RGB. So this is actually writing it into it as a bi binary file and not ASCI right here. And so first I use 25500. So that, that's the RGB. So the R, the R, which is red, is 255, and the G0 and B0. So that gives us red. But then if we have the G and B, the green and blue as 255, that gives us cyan. And then blue, if we just have the blue, the B as 255, we get blue. And then having the red and the blue as 255 gives us magenta. And so that's why we get the actual, that's why the actual image gives us red, cyan, blue, and magenta. Now when you're specifying the actual RGB values. First, you specify how the specification works. So first, you just list off your RGB value. And how that actually translates to the image is the first R the first number you specify will be the pixel in the top left corner. And then the next pixel, then it will start going from left to right down the first row of pixels. So as you can see, the next value I specify is cyan. And so cyan is, when it says, okay, there's cyan, and that's going to put it in the, the next pixel in the first row. So here we have the, this right here is the first row of pixels. And so the first one is red, and then the second column it's going to put a blue. But now the image is two by two, so there's no longer any room in this row. So it's going to go down to the next row. And so as you can see, I put the next two values, blue and magenta. So it's going to put them in the next row. So we'll do it row by row. And that's really all you need to specify um, PPM files. You just put in your header width height and 255. Then you just list off the RGB values. Then you just write that to a file. And then you can convert it to a PNG with image magic. It's a very simple way to write images. You could also, let's say, convert the PNG to a PPM file. Then you can open the PPM file and do some work on it, then save it, and then convert that to a PNG. And it's a very simple way of editing a PNG file without needing any libraries or anything. So. Like, like the file format says, it's a very portable way of dealing with images.